Dreams come easy. Dreams of time travel, cloning woolly mammoths, and colonizing Pluto. Dreams where we zip across the country in tubes at 700 miles an hour, powered by sunlight and magnets. Five years ago, it was literally just a dream. The problem is, when the time comes for all those dreams to get made, the dreamers don't know where to go. To build dreams, you go to cities unafraid of work and people known for making things. Big things like aviation and smaller things like tanks. The kind of talent that we have at our disposal here is amazing. I have been in transportation and infrastructure for over 30 years. It's been 17 years as a scientist and an executive at NASA. I'm the chairman of the industry-based led Aerospace and Aviation Council. I attended Yale University and started a career in aerospace uh, at McDonnell Douglas. Where do you go to make dreams, to build them with metal and glass in your own two hands? You go to cities like Cleveland and Chicago, Pittsburgh and Detroit, places that have had dreams and then made them. We absolutely have the manufacturing. We have the raw materials. We do it cost effectively. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of work ethic uh, and, and really, really strong resources. The Midwest is a place that drops a welding mask over its face and gets to work. And that's why we can't wait to build America's first Hyperloop here. It is quite amazing to see how many partners Hyperloop Transportation Technology already has with academic institutions, with government institutions, with the private sector. Flying 700 miles an hour through a tube using magnets and sunlight isn't a dream. It's a, we're building this and coming to the Midwest to do it thing. We've already got a prototype thing. Millions in funding to survey it thing. First stop, Cleveland to Chicago in under 30 minutes. Connecting the makers of muscle and metal and rock and brick and mortar of this country. You're going to see Hyperloop transition from what is in the past been perhaps a dream of how fast we can go, how can we send people more quickly to different places. It will eventually become a utility. This is something people will talk about for generations. When your grandkids are uh, telling you about this, this new cool Hyperloop train they got to be on, you can say, you know, I was there when they just started. So let's get to work. This thing can't wait any longer.